Hi, welcome back to the IT Review channel. Let's talk more about the, the PC optimization software and specifically about its more niche type, namely registry cleaners. When people talk about cleaning their computers in order to increase performance, the lion's share of this relates to the registry. We are of course talking about Windows computers, where the registry is sort of a central database for application settings and configuration data. Over time, this database can become cluttered and you have to declutter it. Let's remember this word, declutter. Special registry cleaner software is one side of today's topic of mine. Another side, and the popular user search free registry cleaner. Why is it so popular? I don't have to explain, right? My curiosity is more about whether a free utility could be really effective or is it just a marketing trick to incentivize users into buying the product. So as I've combined those two parts, I made a short list of apps. CCleaner, Wise Registry Cleaner, Auslogix Registry Cleaner, A Shampoo Registry Cleaner, and EUSync. CCleaner is over the internet already and overhyped. EUSync seems to have a poor design. And from the other three apps, a shampoo has caught my eye the most. So here we are. In this review, I'll cover the features of a shampoo registry cleaner, its performance, how to keep Windows registry safe and sound, how to make registry backups and edits with this utility, as well as its general pros and cons. Basic setting up. A shampoo registry cleaner is a free utility for the Windows operating system 10, 8 and 7. This is aimed to removing redundant registry entries and repairing invalid entries fully automatically. It is free, I guess, because it is a small plain app that could direct users towards other commercial products by a shampoo such as Drive Updater, PDF Editor, Music Studio, Movie Studio, and so on. By the way, the vendor, a shampoo, is a German company founded in 1999 and now consisting of 55 employees with a track record of partnerships with Nvidia, Intel, and Microsoft. Although ARC is free, you need to fill out a small form to get a full version. It's very easy to do. When you install and run it for the first time, ARC prompts you to enter your email address and set a password. All you need to do is to go to the specified mail and click on the confirmation in the sent letter. That's all. The full version is now available to you. Program license is verified repeatedly at regular intervals. After confirming the mail, the program will immediately start a full scan, which lasts literally a few seconds, and will display the results of your registry situation. In my case, I've got 342 obsolete entries detected. By the way, I should also say a word about my PC configuration to be transparent. A PC on 64-bit Windows 7 Ultimate with 8GB of RAM and Intel Core CPU of 3.2 GHz. As we see, the interface is neat, there is nothing superfluous, the main window and several buttons here and there. The results of initial registry scan are broken down by categories. File format that are faulty, system objects that were entered incorrectly or incompletely, shared files that no longer exist, help files to application that are missing, application path, folders or settings that are faulty, software installations that are faulty, history lists that is unnecessary information or recently used files, Windows firewall, cache and temporary files that are no longer needed. On the right side, we see a small description window. In it, you can see the number of found unnecessary or faulty registry files and how many of them are selected for deletion. At the bottom right area, we see the delete now, search again and abort buttons. Each group of detected registry issues is expandable so users can view all the items before making a decision. Uh, then we see settings and some other menu buttons. We'll explore it a bit later. Additionally, there are links to other shampoo programs and price deals, help center and so on. Features overview. In terms of functionality, there is not much to report. And that is good. The utility is as straightforward as it gets. It does not have a complex menu and features. This makes it really easy to use. The only goal here is to clean and manage the Windows registry and that's all the app does. Right after the launch, it scanned the system and now I get 345 entries detected initially. It was 342, which was a day before. And the list is presented in groups here in the main window. Surely I might not wish to delete all of them instantly. I'd prefer to review and decide what items to remove individually. I see these two buttons on top, select all and select none. 
but here in the main window they are inactive. Only when I go to some group of items they can be used. For instance, here with 173 objects, now I can unselect all first and then choose. If I go back to the main area, I see that 172 of 345 are selected or format 0 and so on. For further action, ARC offers the only option, delete. So this is basically what users are able to do with a utility, scan their PC for broken registry entries, select all at once or specific entries only and delete them from the PC. Search again next to delete, let me click and see if I see any changes since I've been browsing only here. No, nothing has changed. The next feature is the context menu for each individual entry found. So if I go to any entry and right click it, I see four options, mark for deletion, unmark, add as an exception and open in regedit. Mark unmark for deletion is basically the same action I can do in the list of files with checkboxes. By the way, as I can select an entry in this area on the right, which contains the value and its key in the system. The next option is define selected entries as an exception. So it has to exclude the selected entries from future scans. Such exceptions will be visible in settings, exceptions, Although in my case, there was an error when I tried this option, even for different entries. It said the system cannot find the path. Not sure whether this is because those registry items are broken or missing, or the feature does not work properly. The last option in the context menu is open selected entry in regedit. And it opens an item in Windows regedit for manual editing as expected. Okay, then we have these three buttons in the bottom left area. Backups, as I mentioned earlier, the program deletes registry entries, it cannot edit or fix it. So if you unknowingly or accidentally delete all important entry, it could affect your computer. That's why a shampoo developers added the backup feature. This way, for every deletion, the program creates a backup to be able to roll back any changes if need to be. So here all the backups will be placed and for me this is a blank I have not yet deleted my items. Two key options here are restore and delete. Those are self-explanatory, I guess switch view is to switch between a simple and detailed view. The later will include description, size, user and date. There is also the menu to configure automatic deletion of backups based on age, set to remove backups older than 7, 14 or 30 days. It could be helpful for sure. Create report button generates a text document with registry scan results. Export it with the number of entries, creation date, and all the descriptions or paths. Most detected issues in my case were entry X refers to a missing file. It should be noted. The last piece is settings. Let's see. Change the skin while the default one is dark. But nothing happens whether I click OK or reset. In the language tab, we can change the interface language to Czech, German, Greek and so on, and even see the name of the translator. I need to restart to complete this, so ok, let's do this later. In the other tab, I see I can configure program notifications, but it only concerns program updates which are on or off, show or not show animations, I don't get what this means, and backups, I have previously mentioned to configure automatic deletion of old backups with option for older than 7, 14, 30 days or not deleting it automatically. The other two options are move backups to the recycle bin instead of deleting and delete restored backups. All of those settings were in the basic functions tab on the left and the second tab here is called registry. So I can specify the types of registry items to scan for. Say I want to omit start menu items to perform faster so I could unmark it here. Same with exceptions, so items I could have excluded would be listed here and then I could remove any or set anything to default values. Some extra menu items are informational and help materials links, such as links to other shampoo software products, uh, FAQ page, to contact support with file attachments possible, about window and help page. How it performs? Okay. Now it is time to check the effect of registry cleaning with a shampoo utility has, let's see, that after mentioned declutter in action. As it should have an effect on PC performance, let me measure some basic parameters beforehand. CPU use is around 60% right now, physical memory use 55%. 3.5 GB from 7.8 GB is available. And 77 processors are running. 
as I launched AFC, I noted that CPU load increased up to 85%, but only for a brief moment, so it was caused by program launch. Then, while the program was running, the CPU stayed about the same, 60%. We'll go back to these measurements a bit later, now I'll let ARC do the job. So I have 343 registry entries that can be purged from my PC. We've seen that before. Uh, let me not delete all it right away and try only a few items first. And this is not convenient to do, as I mentioned previously due to ineffective UX. I have to go through every group and select none until I'm down to my choices. Ok, let's select these four groups with 82 entries in it. And click delete. Done very quickly indeed. And I see that those groups of items are gone from the list in the main window. Now let me rescan by clicking search again, just in case. 261 entries still remain alright. As I've seen earlier, each deletion creates a backup automatically. Let me see it. I click the backups button and here it is. Those 82 items information on time, date, user, size. Now how about restoring it? Click restore, rescan and we are back to 343 entries. Good. Now the second and the main action, let me delete all items that ARC suggests at once. This takes longer and this is expected due to a larger number of registry records. And then I get the notification that no more objects are found. Search again and… oh wait, what? 72 objects in the file formats group are found again. But why? Delete again. Now everything is gone. A bit strange. Check backups again. All good. Now I'm closing ARC and going to review now deleting the redundant registry effects, or not, the performance of my PC. CPU and memory use remain the same, 60 and 55% respectively. The breakdown of memory is also unaffected, 3.5 GB is available and 2.9 GB is cached. There are no changes in PC boot time as well. At the same time, as I found minutes later just by using ordinary functions on my computer, some file associations for audio and video files were erased, and I had to configure it all over again. Definitely due to removal of certain registry entries, those 72 entries that had not been deleted after the first cleaning, I remember clearly now we're all called open with for unregistered file type, and those types were listed 3GP, AIF, WMA and so on. For me, this is yet another bad UX issue for such types of software and registry cleaners and PC optimizers, meaning that prior to deletion it should inform or warn users about essential registry entries and potential consequences. In ARC, there are no such alerts and conscience. Conclusion. Well, there is not much to add here. In conclusion, we can say that a shampoo registry cleaner is a very convenient utility for removing unnecessary or incorrect registry. The registry in Windows OS, I should also remind you, contains information and settings for hardware, software, user profiles, presets and application configurations. And you should be careful, informed and confident when making a decision on deleting entries from it. Even if you use such automated software for registry cleaning as ARC. Let's weigh the overall pros and cons. In my experience, the prevailing advantages were uh, free utility along with many other similar products offered by a shampoo company, quick scanning upon each program launch and quick overall performance, or 300 registry entries detected on my PC that are either obsolete or damaged, creating automatic backups for every cleaning, deletion, exclusion option. At the same time, the utility has several disadvantages too. No noticeable improvement on PC performance. So this promoted benefit of applying the program is questionable, or insignificant at best. User experience and design are not optimal. It is hard to work with the list of issues in terms of selecting the desired ones, and details on registry files are spare. Uh, no warnings or alerts to users about critical registry items that may affect the work of PC. A shampoo registry cleaner 2 is a decent software I would say. Try it and see for yourself. And also go check other videos on our channel and subscribe to get the latest reviews. See you in the next videos. Bye.